Welcome back to Saturdays at Derek's. This is Mike. And this is still completely unprepared to come up with a sentence that says I'm. Fucking genius. <laughs> so, we are uh, redoing our format a little bit now. Uh, from now on, we're going to actually cut the show into two or three segments that are only like six or seven minutes long to just try and make the parts a little more digestible. Uh, so, segment one of the new format of the show is our buddy Scott Walker. We are from Wisconsin, so we have the, the dire misfortune of having Scott Walker as our governor <laughs> when he bothers to show up. We have the dire misfortune being surrounded by people who will vote for somebody like Scott Walker. Yeah, that really sucks. <laughs> uh, but, upside, he has dropped out of the presidential race now, so... We know that he's not going to be in a position to fuck up the country like he's fucked up our state. Yeah, it's been a little bit harsh here. Um, it's been incredibly harsh here. Uh, you know, he, he uh, got rid of the, the fucking high-speed rail system that we were supposed to get. Uh, he's fucked over public sector unions. He's fucked over private sector unions. Um, he's been just constantly constantly lying i one promise after the other and then one excuse after the other when he breaks those fucking promises and he will say something and then do the exact opposite of it actually after he dropped out of the presidential race he said that if he was offered a cabinet position uh if a, a republican was to win the presidency that he would refuse that cabinet position so, you know damn well that if a Republican wins the presidency, Scott Walker's going to have his fucking bags packed before he even gets the call. Actually, I would be kind of be that old, kind of cunt. I might vote Republican just to see that happen. Yeah, no. I <laughs> Look, here's the upside. And and I've said this since he announced he was thinking about going in for the presidency. We do not want that prick in charge of the country. Uh, unfortunately, we're going to have to kind of throw ourselves on our sword politically by having to deal with him being the governor until, what, uh, 2019? I think there's like three more years. Yeah. Um, so it's great that he's not going to be the president, but it sucks that we're going to have to suffer under oh, that Oh, you know trick. what? No, I bet I think his election is next year. We're just confused because of the recall. But I think he gets voted for the same time the president gets voted for. I really? Is it only wrong? two years for No. It's four years. Cover. Well, either way. Let's, either way, yeah. Let's not hang on that and chalk that up to we ought to do our fucking civics research. Yeah. <clears throat> um Either, Either way, yeah. the The point being that thank God he's not going to be in charge of the country, um, but oh my God, he's going to be in charge of Wisconsin for a few more years now. I thought the odds of him that. winning were pretty slim anyway, and it it seems like the Tea Party is starting to lose ground. We'll get a little bit more on that later. Well, but they're starting to lose their foothold on things a little bit. Well, I, part of it is... As more and more people become more and more poor and become more and more like, fuck those guys. Yeah, well, part of it is that Scott Walker is completely full of shit, but for some reason, the news media in Wisconsin has no balls and would not fucking call, on, call him on it. Uh, you remember when they did the, the recall election? I watched those debates. Mm -hmm. He was full oh. of shit. He never answered a single fucking straight question. And nobody called him on it. The moderator did not make him give an actual answer. They just let him fucking run around in circles and then blow it off. And on the national stage, he can't pull that bullshit. Yeah. You know, he was he was getting called on a lot of stuff and a lot of stupid shit. Mm -hmm. Stupid shit like, hey, let's put up a wall between us and Canada. Because I want to be one of those border pricks, but I want to be a little bit different from the other border pricks. 
Canada's gonna beat us to it anyway. They're kind of getting tired. Well, right. <laughs> They're kind of getting tired of America's going, hey, um, hey, can we come move up here, eh? <laughs> <laughs> tired of Americans going, our fucking healthcare system sucks. Let's rock <laughs> over the border and, and do it the Palin method. Yeah. <laughs> Um, um, yeah, so it's, you know, and of course he, he quits running for president, comes back and immediately starts fucking with the working class in this state again. Uh, just, I'm so sick and tired of this fucking guy. Well, Jesus Christ. That's the biggest problem with the Tea Party in general is that they are really, really anti middle class. They're anti-middle class. They want everybody to either be really rich or really poor. And they want the really rich to only be that 10% at max. Yeah. And and they could really give a damn about anybody else. Because they, under the guise of it's going to help the economy. Because if you give wealthy people, they'll go out and create jobs. Where are they? Where are these said jobs? Oh, right. No, where are the 250,000 jobs that Walker promised in his first election bid? You know, it never happened. And nobody held his fucking feet over the fire on it. In fact, they reelected the cunt. Yeah. Well, it's because everybody you ask who, who is Scott Walker says, oh, yeah, we did create those jobs. No, but we didn't create those jobs. His, Scott his Walker job says, hey, look. Not only did his job wrong. creation fall I way short of the goal. Run those numbers. And according to my numbers, they're right. Yeah, well, and let's go back and, and look at the way Scott Walker's guys count their numbers. And uh, I think they might be using Common Core math. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because nobody can understand that shit, but somehow you go, no, that's the right answer. I swear to God. Um, just, but yeah. yeah. So anyway, in synopsis, uh, Scott Walker's out, but still in Wisconsin. Yes. So thank he, God and fuck Scott Walker. Yay, but uh, at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll see you guys in part two. Right. Mm -hmm.